All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I could not resist the temptation of getting one Muslim more to go out of Islam. I receive a message from a Muslim person, and this person he said to me, uh, "I will show you the message he 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 sent to me." He said, "If you show me one authentic source about the story of the Prophet Muhammad." Killing a Muslim man because he was a jealous man, just because of his jealousy. If you show me one Islamic resource proving that this is a true story, I will leave Islam. And I am assuming that this person, this gentleman, he is going to keep his word. And because of that, I decide to go on air again. Because if he's honest, and after I show him, what he challenged me for then he have to keep his promise and he should leave Islam please don't forget to invite your friends and uh, I hope you like this graphic uh, in the screen <clears throat> which I find it kind of uh... <laughs> anyway so let us see if it is true. If a Christian prince, he can provide reference that the story about Muhammad killing a believing man who commit no crime except he was a very good man. And Muhammad, because he is just jealous, the guy did nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Yet Muhammad, he wanted his men to kill him. He asked his men to assassinate the man for no reason except obviously his jealousy. He felt that he is in competition. So let us see if this Muslim, he was making a challenge, false challenge or he mean it. I will take you to Facebook to show you the message he sent me. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Show me where Imam said, one Imam said, I think he says on Imam, he mean maybe one, one Imam said that the Prophet killed the Muslim man, Muslim good man, as Sahih. I will leave Islam. Just one, do you dare to show? I said to him, Are you sure? <laughs> and then he said to me here, Look what he said. <clears throat> Show me from any Imam as you wish or you wish, but he must be a Sunni like Al Alabani, not a stupid Shia. Okay, so if I show you from Al Alabani or any uh, Sunni Imam, you will leave Islam. I mean, that's a good deal. Okay, so now all what we need to do is to check if any Muslim Sunni he did. Prove that this hadith to be accurate. Please feel free after I show you the reference to call me on Skype and to uh, denounce Islam because you made a promise of a man. Either you keep your promise or you are a coward, you are making a challenge you don't mean. So you choose really what do you want? What are you about? Are you a person who keep his word? Or you don't mean your promise when you say to me, show me, and I accept, I challenge you. First of all, we go to Fathul Bari. You will see in Fathul Bari, it says the following. And this is about the story we mentioned about your prophet killing a man. He was doing nothing except he was praying and worshipping Allah. It says, وَذَلِكَ مَا فِيمَا أَخْرَجَهُ أَحْمَدٍ بِمُسْنَدٍ بِمُسْنَدٍ جَيِّدٍ عَنْ أَبِي سَعِيدٍ This is have a good sanad. Alright? The story here have a good sanad. sanad. And then, uh, we see the rest of the story in the front of us. However, I'm not going to stop here. Because you mentioned to me, as an example, Al-Alabani. 
And as long as Alabani is your favorite scholar to prove that this is a true story, I'm going to go to Al Alabani. Bingo. This is Al Alabani. Let me try to make it. I don't know how we can make the thing, all of it appear, because they made it from edge to edge. You see, even when I extend the page, still it's from edge to edge. It's like uh, hard to make it come. Mm, let us see. Okay. Let us try this. Guys, can you read all the text or no? Still no, right? Okay. Let us see now. Still no. Mm. Okay. I think now almost. Let us zoom more. All right, now we have all the text in the front of us. Read with me, my friend, and especially those who speak Arabic. And by the way, I'm going to copy the text as it is, and I will paste in Google Translation, copy-paste as it is live, and we will see the translation there as it is. It says, As-Silsila Sahiha Al-Alabani. The chain of Sahih of Al-Alabani. The name of the book, The Chain of Sahih. The Imam is Muhammad Nasr al-Din al-Alabani. This is the same Imam you requested from me. If I show you that he confirmed that this hadith is sahih, you will leave Islam. Hadith number 2495, sahih. Do you see it, Abdul? Hadith number 2495. Now, for those who do not know what the story, I will translate the story. Actually, you know what? Let us copy as it is, take it to Google Translation and see what we will come with this. As it is. All right? All right. The story. This is the story as it is. Copy. Google. Now, Google, you know, don't give perfect translation, but, you know, it's good. This is the name of the title. To wish that you killed this man. Okay. Imam Ahmad Said, here you see in the top between two brackets, it's translated as right, which means sahih. The word Sahih come as right. I wish this is the word Sahih. Do you see it? It's translated in English as right, which goes Sahih mean correct. Translating I swear that if you killed him, he's going to be the last sedition. And the and the first and the last. Imam Ahmad said that the Prophet Allah peace upon him, etc. Passed by a man who prostrated himself and started to pray. Then he recited the prayer and returned to him. When he prostrated, as you see, this is not a perfect translation, but it does the job. The prophet, peace upon him, said, Who kills this? <laughs> who killed this? <laughs> what, what the guy is doing is he's worshiping Allah, he's a great Muslim. Who killed this? Then a man stood up and shook, uh, 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 and uh, actually, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, a man stood up and he said, he shook his hands and he set his sword in the shock. So like me, you know, uh, you know, me, prophet of Allah, I will kill him, you know, let me kill him. Okay. So a man, he stood up and he, and he shook his, so, his, uh, his sword. And he said, choking his sword, then he said, O prophet of God, 
I I I sacrifice my father for you. Here translation is not really uh you know is not accurate. He said uh, uh after he took what, what is they are saying here after the guy he took his sword to kill him, he his hands start shocking, shocking, shaking, and he said, How I can kill a man who is praying to Allah? How I can kill a man? I sacrifice my parents for you, Prophet of Allah. But how I can kill a man? I can sacrifice my father and my mother for you. Muslim, they sacrifice their parents for Muhammad. But how I can do? I, I kill a prostrate person who uh, 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 who pray to Allah. And he said the Shahada. He said that Allah is no God but Allah, and His Messenger is Muhammad. How I can kill him? What he did? Then he said, Muhammad again, he said, who kill him? Then another man stood up and said, <laughs> who kill him? All right. A man stood up. And then he says, the first man, it was Abu Bakr. The first man who stood up to kill the man, it was Abu Bakr. So the second man, he stopped, he, he stood up and he said, oh, prophet of Allah. When he'd grab his sword to kill him, his hand starts shaking. He said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, how I can kill a prostrate who attest that there is no God but Allah and, 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 and Muhammad is his slave? The same story as the first one, the second one. The Prophet again, he said, Who want to kill this man? Who want to kill this man? Who want to kill this man? The first man who said to him, who want to kill this man, it was Abu Bakr. Read with me carefully. The first man to kill him, it was Abu Bakr. And the second one was Umar. And the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, he said to him, did you kill him? Ali said, who want to kill him? Ali, he said, I am. This is the last one, Ali. The messenger of Allah said, you are for this. You go and do it. So Ali, he went and he could not find him. The guy is gone. And when he came back, Muhammad, he told him, did you kill him? Did you, did you kill the man? The man, he said, well, no, he left. So you said to me, and I apologize because the translation is not too much accurate. This is Google translation. We are doing it live in front of you. We just copy paste is exactly. Now, is this hadith is sahih? Yes, it says sahih. You said, no, no, it's not wrong translation. It's Google translation. I mean, you know, Google is a software. Will not give a perfect translation. But the story is very simple. There is a man who is praying very much. He is very good Muslim. The Muslims, they, are, they, they, they respect him a lot. And nobody speak against him. Actually, they mention his name to the different story. They mention his name to Muhammad, that he is a wonderful man. And like they are praising him, how, how amazing he is. So Muhammad, he got jealous. And here we go. The man is praying to Allah. Why you want to kill him? And as you see, the hadith, the hadith is sahih. It is not a weak hadith. They said to me, if you show us one reference says that this hadith is sahih, I will leave Islam. Well, here we go. Sahih. Sahih al-Alabani, the book of Alabani, value number seven, hadith number 2495, sahih. Yeah, yeah, it is a prostitute. This is false. This is not a good translation. No, it's not a prostitute. There's no prostitute. It's a, it's a prostrate. He should be prostrating himself. No, not prostitute. What a prostitute? I didn't see it. So he prostrated himself, not prostitute. He prostrated himself. The guy is praying to Allah. He is he is praying. He is reciting Quran. And he says shahada, and he believe in Allah and his and his prophet Muhammad. So why Muhammad will kill him? 
So the gentleman who said, if you show me a, a proof that this is Sahih, I will leave Islam, keep your promise. Keep your promise. Be a man. Are you going to do so? Are you? Or you are not a man? And here you see, قلت وهذا إسناد صحيح على شرط مسلم وقال الهيثمي very number six page number two two five it's mentioned by Imam Ahmad and Al Tabarani ورجال أحمد صحيح do you see it ورجال أحمد صحيح Hadith number 2495. I'm waiting for you to call me, my friend. You made a promise that if I show you the reference, it says that this is Sahih, you will leave Islam. Why are you not calling? So you were lying, making a false promise? This is the book of Majma'u al Zawaid wa Manba'u al Fawaid by Imam Nuruddin Ali bin Abi Bakr al Haythami. Very number six, page number 225. Kitabu Qitali Ahl al Baghi. Hadith number 10399. Look what it says here. رجال الصحيح ورجال أحمد رجال الصحيح And the men that narrating this story in Ahmad, they are men of Sahih, they don't lie. You are not calling yet, how come? What happened to the Abdul who made the challenge? So you made me come online, challenging me if I show you Approve that this is Sahih, you will leave Islam. What happened? What happened? Taqiyya time? Is that Taqiyya time? The story is very accurate. Your scholars agree with it. It's a shameful story. Your prophet is killing Muslims just because he is getting jealous from them. And Muhammad, he claimed that this guy is going to be a problem. Why? Obviously, there's no problem. The guy, he did nothing. You see, isn't it in Islam they say that you don't kill unless you kill somebody or you do something wrong? What what this guy did? He prayed to Allah. He's a Muslim. He didn't ever harm anyone. So why why you want to kill him? Be a man and keep your promise. You promised me. You see, I was on on uh, uh, on air for a few hours and I lost my voice. And because you made a challenge for me, I said to myself, "Okay, let us let us guide somebody to the truth." You made a promise. You will leave Islam. Yeah, I will give you the links. This is the this is the one from Majma uh, al uh, Zawaid, and this is the one from. Uh, Alabani. The link actually is in the, in the info. And I challenge any Muslim to say that this is not a true. And here he report two stories, by the way. There's a second story here. But, you know, for us here, there's a story. This is what we want. It is Sahih. So, you see, we always, we give, we show them the reference, we show it in the screen, we read it for them, and then they have no choice but to lie, and they say this is weak. The only excuse they have in their religion to say it is weak, what weak mean? What kind of religion is based in religion, in books? Nobody knows what is right and what's, what's wrong. And by the way, this guy you are asking me to prove to you 
that this is Sahih. Al Alabani. Who is Al Alabani anyway? I mean, how, was he in the time of Muhammad? This guy who died a few years ago. I'm just helping you now. So you will say to me, I don't accept Al Alabani. <laughs> So this is was correct for centuries, and now Al Alabani he confirmed that it's correct. So what you will do now? What the Muslims they do when it's come what it's called weak or strong, simply what they do, they go check the history of the person who reported the hadith. If his history that he reported before one hadith supposedly is not right, they assume that this hadith it might be weak, but even weak it still is accepted. Weak is not rejected. How you can follow a religion, even your God, if Islam is based on the Sunnah, which means the practice of Muhammad and the and, and the Quran, shouldn't Allah He protect the practice of Muhammad or the Hadith of Muhammad? Because obviously, everything in Islam is based on both, and actually, Islam is based on the Sunnah and the Hadith. More, it's based on the Quran. There's nothing in the Quran. 90% Muslims of things the Muslims they need in their life. It is in the hadith. It's not in the Quran Quran is an empty book So why Allah did not protect the hadith? So when you say to me the Quran is protected which is a big fat lie because we know that the Quran is not protected Or we can show tons of reference Omar, Omar al-Khattab uh, uh, he said that the Quran was a thousand thousand and twenty five thousand letter and what is left of it? Not even 25%. We know that the Quran was eaten by a goat. So God could not even stop a goat from eating the Quran. Where is the verses the goat ate them? Until now you don't have them. Anyway, guys, I wanted just to Look like this guy he will not call my skype is open my skype is open and until now he did not call me look like he was a liar and he will never call all right shame on you you made a challenge you made a promise if i show it to you that it's sahih you will leave islam you are a liar like your prophet anyway guys i'm not going to keep you long this is just a short video please download and share around so yes, Muhammad, he killed a decent Muslim man. Actually, he tried, not he did not kill. The story says that the man, he escaped. But Muhammad, he insists, he sent Omar, he sent Abu Bakr, he sent Ali to kill him for no guilt except he prayed a lot. He was a good-looking man. He was a person who worshipped too much. And that is the reason Muhammad want to kill him. People they notice that this guy is not a prophet, but he pray a lot more than the prophet. People they notice that this guy is not a prophet, but he is more attractive when he speak from one who claimed to be a prophet. So Muhammad he felt that he is suffering from a competition. If this guy stay, maybe tomorrow he will claim to be a prophet. Or people they will start comparing between the one who claimed to be a prophet and the one who don't. He is not a prophet. Imagine I say to you that I am a prophet of God. But there's a person in the group with us. He is always keep praying. He is very decent man. He is all, all the time. He is worshiping God. I mean, this is embarrassing because I am the one who says a prophet. And this is why Muhammad wanted to get rid of him. Because he was a risk to keep alive. Get my books. Learn more about the cult of Islam. This is a very stupid religion. Muhammad was not a decent man. And anyone who want to lie and say Muhammad was a decent man, he is lying to himself. Muhammad was not. Muhammad was never a good man. Never in his history. Everything about him proving the opposite. So how you can defend such a person? I feel sorry for the Muslim when they claim that they can defend their prophet, but they cannot. The reason you look so funny and so silly when you debate me because Islam is stupid. You cannot defend something stupid and something ugly. You will look stupid and people will laugh at you. And then you will think, or people will think, okay, a Christian prince, he must be a genius. Uh, my friend, it's not about me being a genius. It's about Islam being stupid. 
Have you ever heard more stupid cult than this cult? Everything in this cult is madness. Stupid madness. And anyone want to defend madness, he will look like a foolish man. And I changed the Muslim to tell me why Muhammad wanted to kill this man who did nothing. Unless Muhammad is God, he knew the future. And if you know the future, are you going to kill somebody before he do commit a sign, a sin, or a, or a crime? Madman. Thank you guys for being here. Download the video and share it around. And may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that. And see you soon again. Bye bye.